We're here with Midwest Outdoors Magazine, Clint Breitzman today. What's the plan today, Clint? What we're going to do is show you how to catch some bluegills and crappies. We got our nice Eskimo fishing shanty set up. As you can see, we came over from the Nets Lake, which is about a five mile hike in this morning. Yeah, we're going to get her done. Nothing else? We're going rabbit hunting. This could be a frozen lake so there might not be any fish in here we'll find out it's Stick 15 to... below zero and we're not sitting on the couch yeah staying warm yeah the rest of you guys stay on the couch and go for friday night fish just got my first fish Ooh, it's a big one too you got that hook gaff hook clint oh i yeah. got him i got him i got him jeez it's a monster first fish of the day Whoa. So big, I can't even hold him. Not, not a keeper. He's not the palm of my hand, but pretty close. You want to book a fishing trip with us? Look at how big this fish is. He's probably bigger than the size of my head almost. Oh, yeah. Do you even see my face behind here? He's, he's a lot wider. <laughs> nice fish, but you know, part of being professional, you got to let these, let these go and let them grow. Try again. You know, we're marking fish on the Vexlar, so it's just a matter of time before before them good eaters come in, not these big, big fat, kind of gross tasting fish, you know. So we'll see what we can get here. Well, we're about two hours into it. Pretty safe to say this, uh, this lake is a freeze lake. There is absolutely zero fish in here except for the one Dustin caught. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. Probably try a different lake. Cross this one off. As you can see we got three poles out with awesome bait. Betzler says it's showing fish but we came to the conclusion it's just weeds drifting. Yep. Better than, better than working. Clint just hooked up a giant. We got a whopper. I mean, look what, at a what you, what you got, what you got. Holy, wow. Look at the size of that. Is that a northern, or what kind of fish is that? It's a Sahara peacock bass. And how you can tell is these black things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That would be a... Uh, I swallow the hooker fish it looks like to me. I swallow the hooker <laughs> fish. I hate it when they do that. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this, fellas. Get off the couch and come catch you some of these. So you can eat tonight. I mean it's as big as my <laughs> as big as my hand at least. That's a keeper. Yeah. That's a keeper. All right. Well, they're they're starting to heat up. Uh, we're we're marking a lot on the vex there. We're just keep switching baits, trying to figure out what they're biting on. So, Clint might have found something. Two seconds after I got my fish off the line, Dustin's pole starts going. Probably not quite a keeper, but definitely starting to heat up. This is what you call a a sunfish. You see the belly. So you can see that wasn't the same fish. We're not trying to play tricks with the camera here. These are two different fish. But I think we'll let this one go. Think so? Yeah, there's bigger ones out here. Alright, stay tuned. The action's heating up here. We're back down there and I had two nice bites that I missed them both. So hopefully they bite and you can actually see some some good action here. Probably took my grub already, but. We are marking a ton of fish, so. There it is. Damn it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> These are tricky little fish, so. We'll get it right back down there and. 
we'll get them. Dustin just hooked into another one. Not been in the pool much, but yep. Not a giant, but hey. Catching. <laughs> Serious? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fish. <laughs> Keep it up, you're gonna die. It ain't big, but hey. It's fun catching them. Kiss him before you set him back? Nah, nah, he's gotten <laughs> me wet enough already. I'll put him in your hole. Awesome. The action's heating up. Stick with us. It's about four fish in the last, I don't know, ten minutes or so, so... We're actually learning, learning how to catch them. Okay. Um, hey, you quick. might have a... You might be in the middle pole. Oh, I think he is. Right, Clint, just, a Clint just hooked a big one. I think he caught my line, too. Oh, look at the size of that. Ooh. That's how we do her there. Hey Pat Shea, if this is a call out to you, can't eat these fresh things at a grocery store. Tell you what, folks, this is way better than going and buying your own fish. You actually know where it came from, whose hands were on it, and what it actually is. Obviously. Oh. Uh, what do you think? Huh. I think we'll let this one go. Meal's a meal, you know, big fish, small fish, I don't know. We <laughs> only got one fish so far. We gotta... Shall we keep them? Uh-huh. I guess that is pretty little. Yeah. Well, we'll catch, we'll catch bigger ones. We'll get more. It's this guy's lucky day. Unless you want to stay here with us, you know, we'll eat you. Dustin's got a big one. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh, that's a keeper. That's definitely a keeper. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. I tell you, these treble hooks, they hook them good. <laughs> nice fish. We'll let them keep the grub. Got a nice one on. It's just it's running that drag right out. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice one. Might be a keeper too. I mean, our standards got lowered, so. <laughs> Why is that? Keepers are getting to be like that size. <laughs> so, I think what's that? Seven, eight fish now. Yep. Virtually doing really good. We're in them. Yep. What kind is that? Uh, this would be a sunfish again. It's another sunfish? Yeah, it might have been the same one I caught before, but before he wasn't a keeper, but now he is, so... <laughs> yeah. Want to, want to hear a good sound? That's the sound of uh, catching fish. <laughs> the sound of success. <laughs> we'll get her back down there. This I switched to a yellow color, and that's been seeming to bring him in lately, so... Boy, these weights are going to get fished out if we keep giving out all our secrets. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Do they even know where we're at right now? Uh, no, I don't believe we told them. We'll see how we do the rest of the day. Maybe we'll let you know what lake we're on. But otherwise, we'll keep it to ourselves. We'll give you a little hints and hints if you can figure it out good for you if you can. So Here's your first hint. Hey, come on to your pool. Why? Yeah, you got a bite. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bait. Steven, sons of guns. Well, that was your first clue of where we are. Seeing outside and then... There's fish, so obviously... We're on, on some body of water. Yeah. Well, we got a school of fish that just came through, so... We're going to get back to fishing. You guys were asking for hints, and now you just cost me a fish. <laughs> Dustin, what kind of tips can we give these amateur fishermen out here? 
Um, well, see the secret is these little spring bobbers. Very mm -hmm. sensitive, so just the slightest movement, then bobbers bop up and down. Huh. And that's the key. These fish, they bite so soft and, you know, they're not hitting it at all, but it's probably because they're such little fish. But otherwise, just what works the best, give it a couple jigs, let her sit, and they usually hit it when you're letting it sit. And we've noticed too, you want to let them take it as much as you can if you try hitting them right away when they're hit it right at first. Nine times out of ten, they get away on you. So. And that's your tip of the day. Got him? No. I don't think. No. Clint just had a bite. He's going to show you how he catches fish. Maybe. So can you explain what kind of line, what kind of jig, and what kind of pole you're using to get the job done today? Yeah, I am using four pound fire line, which I should be using two pound because this line is raveling up like a son of a gun. I'm using the brand new Intrigue 502S reel. State of the art, top of the line titanium. Uh, and I'm using a slick, <laughs> slick ice jig pole. It's very good for big fish. I mean, we just haven't found a big fish yet. But when we do, they're gonna be a hurting unit. Well, this, all this is top of the line equipment. Why, why aren't you getting a fish right now? You'd think that. Okay, talk to you later. <laughs> well, that's a very good question, Dustin. Um, yeah, this is just not the best lake. I mean, we're off the grid right now. All these guys go to all these easy lakes of fish. And he, my buddy and I, Dustin, we said, you know what? We're going to go to all these hard lakes where everyone says it's a freeze-out lake where there's absolutely no fish. We're going to show them there's fish. Obviously, we're not doing real good yet, but, you know, a day's just getting started. After a couple of of little brats, we'll be... We'll be bringing them in one after the other. As soon as we get warmed up, the fish will get warmed up. Well, it's probably good to get that flavor on the hook and stuff, too. Yep. That's why if you're going, you know, fish don't like the scent of your hand, so you throw in a dip of chew or sunflower seeds, you know, gets rid of that human odor. you got to think of it kind of like hunting. They think something's up here but they don't know what and if you give them a little something that doesn't smell like a human then they're probably gonna bite on it so yeah that's all I got all right stay tuned so, what you got sucked into another one I don't know if he's I don't think he's too special here yeah I don't know not a bad one. Borderline. What do you think? You make the call. <laughs> I have a hard time holding on to these fish. He almost made the call for <laughs> us. What do you think? Boy, that ain't bad. I do got big fingers, you know. Yeah, he's got them. <laughs> your decision. Well, we only have three in a bucket. So what are you saying? Ready? <laughs> there it is. Another one in the bucket. All right. Oh, you probably just got me hooked. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I Clint caught a fish and he caught a line. That's, that's talent right there. That's how we do it. 
good way to bring in two fish on one line. Hooked right where we like them, Dustin. Right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> right in the mouth. Look at that. Nice, beautiful fish. Sun is shining on <laughs> from this angle. You can see all the colors. Almost looks like a walleye. You can. Yeah, yeah. If you had a white tip there, it'd definitely be a walleye. I think we'll let this one go. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, we just hooked another one. This one feels a little better. I think I just hooked another line too. Come on, you may be hooked on ice down here. Yeah. No, oh, you got away. Got away. Right, the nicest fish of the day, and I hooked on the ice, and he got off. What can you do? <laughs> it's part of fishing. I just have to lose a little bit of sleep tonight over it, but I'll get over it. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? Well, it feels like a decent fish. Got another line too. <laughs> I think I showed you that trick earlier. Yeah, it actually works pretty good. I don't know. Uh, we'll probably throw this one back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bite, bite, bite. Here. Had to dredge that way too low, <laughs> way too low. Just missed out on a big muskie, I think. He'll be back. I don't think I picked him. All right, we got we got to get our lines back. So he's on. He is. We're on. Maybe not. Well. Definitely took took too much time getting that one in. He got away on me, but just catch and release, you know. This one feels better. Just down the whole action. Keeper. This one's a definite keeper. We we'll get to boy. see him as soon as he comes through. Come on. There he is. Ooh. That's a nice fit. That's that's a, that's a catch of the day right there. All folks are definitely getting a heck of a lot bigger. By far the biggest fish of the day. We want to be careful we don't drop him and he goes down the hole. Yeah, that's a good one. So, we've been getting them left and right here now. A couple of them got off on us, but. That's how we. That's how we roll at Midwest Outdoors. Did you bring another five gallon bucket? This one's almost full. Fuck, I forgot it. Maybe we can bum one from the nuts guy that's not getting anything. Yeah, either that or we'll just have to make a little live hole in here to. Put them in for now. Oh, yeah. Got one too. You got one too. Oh, my mess. Oh, you hooked on my line. That's probably why. Oh, is that way? Look at the size of that. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, look at this pole. That's going crazy. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, so is this one. Oh, wait. That was you got all the line, Clint. <laughs> wow, what a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a. Uh, that looks like a not a mess. mess. Folks, we might be out of commission here for about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> At least there was a keeper. If it was a little fish, I might be a little upset about yeah. it. Look at the colors these fish have in them. Wow. Pretty fish. Yeah, well, that when that sun, you know, a nice sunny day like today, it shines through that ice and it really turns your belly's colors. Yep. Been eating good. Another one for a bucket. This one, this one, this one. Oh. Folks, that's our second bucket of the day. The neighbor was nice enough to lend us another bucket, so we're definitely just smoking them today. We were, but um, 
I'm thinking, oh, yeah. uh, I ain't gonna catch anything for a little while here, so. So, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll get back to you when we're ready. Ooh. Might have a good one here. I don't think so. I don't feel like much <laughs> at all. But sometimes I can be deceiving. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> get caught up in the vessel there, but. Well, one thing I can say, I caught the two smallest fish of the day. He also caught the largest. Definitely, uh, I mean, our standards have dropped, but thankfully they're not this low. <laughs> so, all the fish swam away for a while, but they're all starting to come back, so. Ever since, uh, Clint got all our lines tangled up with that lunker, Slow down a little bit, but you're making a comeback. Yep. So are we. Imagine that. Ten seconds after he releases other fish, he gets another. This one feels good. Very good. Well, it's not giant. Well, it looks pretty good. One of the nicer fish of the day. Definitely a keeper. Yep, I'd say. So, all right, the action's heating up. So I gotta get, I got two lines out of the water. <laughs> ain't catching fish out of the water. Clint's too busy running the camera. <laughs> he can't catch fish. Oh, another big one. <laughs> this is number 16 for the day. So, not too bad of a day, as slow as it started off. And that's the third smallest fish for the day. Yep. Well, if this was a survival situation, definitely would have been a keeper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Our goal for the day is to get to 20, so we're at 16, so four more to go. I had a couple get off, you know, right at the top of the ice and all that, but. Oh, we got one here. Take her. Had one. He's. Tease him a little bit. We're fishing in about uh, twenty eight foot of water, so. Get to fight them a little bit, bringing them up. Makes it a little funner, you know. Mm. Oh, I was going to have to get thrown back. <laughs> Number 17, though. Got to get our goal at 20 before we can leave, so. kind of that? That's what you call a perch. Perch? Yep. Ooh. It's a really nice perch. Yep. Yeah. It's really tall. Usually perch aren't that, you know, tall, but... Must be maybe one of them hybrids? Yeah. Probably. Probably bred with a sheep head or something would be my guess. Well, how old do you think that fish is? Mm, that one's probably... I'm getting about 420 days, I'd say. <laughs> so, I better get him in there so you can see 421. Oh, well, another little one, but it's number 18. Two more to go. Another one of them walleye crossbreeds. Tell by these. <laughs> so, dorsal fins and them stripes on there, huh? Yep. And by the teeth. Pretty sharp. Jeez. I don't want to stick a finger in there. No. Well, yeah, you gotta be careful. I definitely need a pliers when you're dealing with these types of fish. So. Not a keeper? Ah, we're gonna let him go. It's good to let them them ones grow. But as you can see we stuck with our kind of greenish greenish yellowish bait. It's it's been working pretty good for us. So we'll get her back in the water and 
you say we at least got to get to 20, so. Uh oh, we might be keeping him yet. Came back to visit. Uh oh. Do you know CPR? Uh. The I know boss kind of. I know you've taken it for work. He skipped out on us the last few years. I, I don't know if I really remember. Up, oh, you revived him. Yeah, you just push him under the ice, and then it's like he swims away. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? Another little one. That's number nineteen. So one more to go to get. It. Ooh, let's get our goal. <laughs> Oop, we might have one on this pole too. Maybe not. Is that me? No, the middle pole, but. So we'll get him back in the water so we don't have to keep him. <laughs> One more and she's not looking real promising yet. One down there. Well folks, we're just fishing here. We got 19 fish just trying to get 20. We just had one swim up through the hole. He wants to be caught so bad, so. Glenn, you want to see if we can give him a little, little push to go back down? We don't want to noodle him. We want to catch him fairly, so we're going to give him a little... No, it's the other way. There. He won't be back. Hey, this is fish 20. We got to get him in the water. Feels like a nice one. Oh, I guess not. I think you got your other line too. Yep. I'll be throwing him back, but. Oh shit. Whoa. Get one? Yeah, he had a bite too. See if you, you get can him do in that? there? Yeah. Feels like a good one. What's he look like? What's he look like? Can't even. Oh, there he is. That's number twenty-one. Not real big, but you know what? I'm happy to get him. Yeah, we'll let him go. That's Dustin's fish's buddy. That's another one of them. Whoops. Another one of them hybrid. Perch, you can see all the stripes in there. Oh yeah. You can got a part carp in him with the way his tail looks. He's got that little black spot there, so he's shit. That good one here. Oh yeah. Here we go. One of the better ones that I caught today. It's up to 23. We only got two minutes of battery life, so we're kind of limiting. I know 20. you missed the last couple of fish and all that, but we got to get her safe for the big ones, you know. So there he is. Oh, I just caught the biggest fish of the day. This is number 26. Barely had him hooked, so you see, we ain't got much battery, but they're really biting good right now. So we're going to go for 30 now. Four more to go. Well, we're all done for the day. We ended up with 34 fish, so not too bad of a day. A couple, I don't know, about 12, 15 or so. Not giants, but there's some nice ones in there. Some good eaters. Fourteen keepers. Not and a bad. Seven hours of fishing. We threw yeah. a lot back, so. All in all, it's a good day. Didn't really get above zero all day, so she's cold out. Our and heater we, didn't work. We were in a shanty, but it's still. Our feet and hands are frozen right now, so I gotta go back and cut them up and warm up. Have fish for dinner. Till next time. <laughs>